Hi YouTube, it's another lovely sunny day. I hope you guys are all keeping safe. Welcome to Otto's Garage. So we've had a uh, couple of uh, responses on the YouTube page. Uh, firstly, I've got to apologize for the sound on one of the videos. I think it was episode four, possibly. Um, and uh, I had a bit of trouble with the um, the program I was using on there. The the laptop it was being edited on wasn't quite up to speed. So anyway, um, we're doing the editing now on a PC, which is much faster, and hopefully we're not getting the same sound problems with it. And then the other issue that I've got, obviously, is at the moment I'm just recording everything off the phone. So what I'm going to try and do is get myself a half-decent camera, which hopefully will uh, make some of the viewing experience a little bit better. But we'll... Uh, We'll just see how we get on with that. Um, and if you can just bear with me for the time being, that would be great. Much appreciated for all the likes and all the views. And hopefully I'll get some more videos out. Um, we'll see how we're going. Cheers. Okay, so this week we're going to uh, attach the rear steel extension pieces onto the back arch and just see how the fiberglass arch meets up with those. Uh, and I'm going to get some country and western music in as well. So this is the back arch and I, when I've had a look in here I've realised that the uh, metal is just on its way out basically. So I've cut a piece out of that. Uh, you can see how badly it was starting to corrode there. Once we cleaned it off there's a lot of pinholes in it. Um, so basically what I've done is I've just uh, cut away the bad stuff and then um, made up a plate or two. So we'll, we'll get a plate in across that uh, first part there. And then another plate will go up into the corner across there. So we should um, hopefully be able to make a good arch again. Both plates are now welded in and I've had to form this one around a little bit just to get the curve on it. And then we've just formed the lip on the front edge. So I'm going to just tidy that up now with the, uh, with the flat wheel, clean that off. And then what we'll do is we'll spin the car the other way so we can weld this edge to the existing bodywork underneath, which will be a little bit easier to gain access to if it's the correct way up. This is with the car the correct way around. So you can see how the new metal lip is coming around there. So we're gonna weld that onto the existing skin, uh, the, the original Prisma arch there. And then what we've got to do then is uh, recreate a ledge so that when the fiberglass wing comes on, we can form a, an extra lip underneath here. Um, and that'll give us something to bond to. But at least the, uh, the rotten bit's gone now, which is good news. So the back here, where we've got the arch, I've, I've temporarily fitted the door latch and the handle as well. So that door's kind of in its final position. Obviously we've got a bit of stepping going on here, which we'll sort out with some filler and stuff. But what we need to do is form a plate in underneath. Um, so we've just basically made a, a plate up here which can go in underneath and close that arch off and give some support to this leading edge of the uh, fiberglass. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut some notches in that and then we can bend it around, follow the shape of the arch and we've got something then that we can fix the fiberglass to as well. And it'll give a bit of protection as well from underneath. So we now haven't got a fiberglass edge on here. We've got steel right the way around under the arch. So I've made up this plate, uh, put an end on it, and then just cut some notches in it so we can follow the radius of the arch underneath. So what we'll do is we'll fit that in underneath there. Uh, it'll be welded back to the new metal that we had in underneath it. And then we can adjust the fiberglass and pull the fiberglass back to the right shape for it. Um, and that'll give us a nice edge to work to then. Okay, we'll flip the car over on its head and then we'll, uh, we'll weld that in place. So looking from underneath, you can see how the door fits in relation to the arch. You know, we've got all this built here. So we're just going to put our filler piece in down here. And then basically that will uh, allow us to restrain the fiberglass back in the correct position. So I'm going to weld that in now and then we'll have a look and see what she looks like. So I've welded that plate in. Um, that was the original one there. And then I made up a plate for the back of the arch. So now what will happen is once it's bonded to it, that'll kind of pull it to the right shape. And of course it's given us um, 
lots of protection underneath. The only thing that I've got to get now is a, a little infill piece in here to connect the original door return to the uh, to the rear arch return in that point. So we'll close that one in anyway and we'll see where we're going with that. So on the uh, other side you can just see what work we've got to do now is basically this is all the standard arch. Uh, so we're going to have to cut all this away and follow the line all the way up here and uh, put our new filler piece in to, for the door close. Um, we have to trim this end of the sill back as well. And there's, um, you can just see in there anyway, there's a little bit of corrosion going on, so that's no bad thing, try and get all that fixed up. But basically that needs slicing off, because uh, it's a slightly different length um, on, the, on the Evo for the sill to, to wrap around the end there. And also the wheel arch is a lot bigger as well on the Evo, so basically there's a lot of material there we've got to chop away. Um, this will need a bit of a repair panel putting in. Um, but obviously most of that's going, so I didn't want to do that until we got to a state of actually knowing exactly where it's got to go. Inside the arch itself, it's actually a lot better in there. Um, this, this panel was the one that we replaced on the other side, but that seems to be pretty good. Uh, I haven't had to do so much work on here, although there has been a plate welded on the inside of the body. But this is all actually in quite good condition. Bit of corrosion going on there, we'll have a look at that as well. Um, and then what I did on the other side is I... I took off the, the the return lip here, which I think is some of the problem is that the, the crap and the mud gets flicked up behind and it sits on this ledge. And then basically it just in, you know, encourages it to rust. So I'm gonna take that off and we're gonna tidy that edge up and we're gonna seam weld that, which is what I've done on the other side as well. So it'll mean that we've um, basically got rid of, of this ledge and just put a bit of strength back into the, um, the panels at that point. Um, and then the other thing we've got to do on this side is the fuel filler flap um, is going to have to be filled. So I'll, I'll put a fill piece in there, a plate in that, and we'll tack that on. Most of that gets covered up by the blister, but at least um, if we can get rid of it, uh, it'll give us something extra to, to bond the uh, blister on to as well. Okay, so we'll have a go with the cutter, and we'll just see what we've got. can see here now where we've cut away the arch um, and we've got to follow that line all the way around and then taken the end off the existing sill as well so this is going to need a plate 
patching over it um, and making that good and then basically that will close all that in and get that into the right place and then inside what I've done is I've taken off the seams so you can see where that uh, that return uh, there's still some debris down here basically the, the return on the uh, seam was folded over which we've now cut off and we've got a, um, a flat edge so what I'll do is I'll go down that with the uh, with the flat wheel just clean that edge off there tidy it all up and then we can seam weld it all the way down there and that's basically going to stop the same thing from happening again because we're not getting that water trapping in behind that lip um, and then just basically holding the mud and then rotting out but again inside we can see this panel is quite good so I'm quite pleased with that um, we can just make a uh, edge piece to close over and then uh, what we'll do after that is um, uh, get it ready for putting our extension piece on for the door and then the other extension piece for the bottom of the blister arch as well. Well it's hot work that is. Okay so what we've done now is we've just gone over it and we've prepared all the um, little areas basically, gone over them with a wire brush in the grinder which is great, it just takes off all the, the little paint areas so Basically, that's good for welding too. I'll, uh, I'll just give that a quick wipe off really, just clean too many residue away. But um, we can do all of these seam welds, I think is the first thing to do on it. We'll see where we are. And then we can make up a couple of plates just to cover up these, um, these other little holes that we've got here. And in the end of the sill, uh, I'm putting a patch piece over this bit as well. And then that should give us a, a nice um, structure to work from, ready for putting our uh, arch extensions on. Uh, like we did on the uh, on the other side. Okay, so we'll have a look at that, and then we'll uh, see where we are. So this is the, uh, the seam weld that we've done here. Uh, I'm quite pleased with that actually because um, we're welding, you can tell it's quite spattery when it's welding, but at least it's um, actually taken a decent edge on it. So uh, yeah, quite happy with that, how that's all come out there. A little bit of tidying up to do on it, but generally speaking, it's not too bad considering the quality of the metal that we're trying to weld against. Uh, but this, without a doubt, this arch has been a lot better. There's a lot less rust on it, um, a lot less big plating up to do on there. So what I can do now is start to have a look at uh, fixing the end of the sill there, um, get that plated in the right place, make up this little patch on this side, um, and then we'll be ready for putting the arch extensions on it. That's great. I've welded the plate onto the end of the sill there. Um, Ground it all back, so that's actually got a nice a nice finish to it. Now let's close that off well. Still got to do this little one up here. We'll have a look at that a bit later on. And I've just been over the seams, ground them back, tidied them up. Uh, very pleased with those. They look nice and sturdy on there. And the same on this outer edge here. That one's, that one's pretty cool as well. So we've got some good basis now for getting our arch extensions on. And uh, the other thing I've got to do, I've cleaned, tidied that up is I'll make a little plate to fill the old fuel filler because what we're going to do is um, we're going to stick the uh, filler inside the boot the tank will be in the boot rather than being underneath the tank used to be under here that's going to be disregarded now I'm going to put it inside the boot against the back firewall and then what we'll do is we'll have the filler inside the boot and I'll probably have the actual filler popping through a hole in the in the skin of the boot lid so that we can still fill it from outside but at least it will um, uh, give us a, uh, a, you know, a better place really to put the, the filler cap in there. 
Right, so uh, a little bit of corrosion here under the original jacking point. So I've cut that little square out and uh, sod's law, <laughs> it's dropped down into the sill. So it's a bit of a pig to get at. Um, anyway, just thought I'd show you this little tool. Pretty cool. Uh, it's a little light on the end of a telescopic magnet. So I can have a look down there. I can see just exactly what's going on. I can find the piece, click on there, and literally then we can just <laughs> pull the little critter out. And that is a job. Okay, so we had to just have a look at the um, petrol cap flap, which I need to blank off because the blister's going over this. So I just uh, cut a uh, rectangle out of a piece of 0.8 steel, and then uh, all I've done is just radiused off the corners with the flat wheel and the angle grinder. We'll just put a few tacks in that now, and then she'll be good to go. Bit of filler on it, happy days. The plate's all welded in now. I've just ground it back off again. So the surface of the plate is below the original surface um, of the car. So basically, um, we can we can fill that, and you're not going to know it's even there. And I wanted to um, weld right round it, really, rather than just tacking it, and then at least that'll stop any uh, chance of anything cracking. I mean, in the end of the day, it is actually going to be under the blister pretty much, but... Um, you know, while we're in there, we might as well do the job properly. Well, it's been a long day. It's just turned midnight. Uh, we've got the other side done as well. So basically, um, I'm going to try and get back on this tomorrow in the day and see whether I can't get some um, rear bodywork fitted. So uh, that's been a, a cracking session on that. Let's see what we can do tomorrow. Cheers. Bye bye!